Welcome back to this new season of the weekly What's Up. I'm Tori Nagel. And I'm Alexandra Ernst. And this is your Weird National News. Last Wednesday, the town of Gearhart, Oregon was overrun by a herd of Roosevelt elk. According to NBC News, the elks were all seen running all over town from places such as the local golf course to a resident's backyards. The mayor of Gearhart, Diane Widdup, says that the animals were wonderful. However, she asked town citizens give the elk their space and keep an eye on their dogs. Very interesting. I love elk. <laughs> I've never seen an elk. I was just like, is I that was, like a Virginia thing? I don't know. I just want to go to Alaska and just visit them. I don't know. <laughs> One day. Next story. According to the Huffington Post, a woman from South Carolina, Kayla Finley, was arrested after she failed to return a rented movie from 2005. The movie? Jennifer Lopez's Monster-in-Law. Yes, apparently that's a crime. She went to report a crime at the county sheriff's office, only to discover she had an active warrant for not returning a cassette, even though the company is no longer in business. She spent the night in jail. Miss Finley intends on finding this. Quote, it's obvious that Pickens County has nothing better to do. It's ridiculous that I had this happen to me. So, moral of the story, make sure you've returned all of your blockbuster videos. I can't think of the last time I even saw a blockbuster somewhere. It's they so probably strange. closed, like, what, five years ago? I miss them. At least, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's unbelievable. A pet peacock was shot after it attacked several women in Houston, Texas. Meanie, the peacock, attacked a woman Friday while she was being questioned by a police officer about the bird. The officer stunned the bird, but it continued to attack the woman. Scared, the woman ran inside while the peacock's caretaker shot Meanie to death. Oh no. It's super grim at the end, right? Oh, like, just took a turn. <laughs> it's a beautiful bird. It's really sad. Well, on a weirder note, circus folk fear a national clown shortage on the horizon. Membership at the country's largest trade organizations has plunged over the past decade, mainly due to decline, declining interest and the older clowns are now passing away, according to Daily News. Membership at the World Clown Association has dropped from 3,500 to 2,500 members in the last decade. The main challenge is getting younger people involved in clowning, which can be difficult. They may develop an interest early on, but to stick with it on a professional lever level is rare. So, anyone still looking for a major, you may want to consider clown school. I could never be a clown. I would not want all that makeup on my face. I can even wear makeup like every day out. It's just too much effort. It's just not my thing. State police in Pennsylvania are investigating a woman who may have smuggled drugs to her inmate boyfriend via an affectionate kiss. Police told the Miami Herald that a 45-year-old woman had drug-filled balloons in her mouth and passed them to her boyfriend when she visited him. Police plan to charge the man with possessing contraband and the woman with furnishing an inmate. Very interesting. An affectionate kiss. Yeah, I mean, that must have been really awkward kind of for a long time, too, to pass that along. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> According to the Huffington Post, they reported that Frances Sliman, a 44-year-old woman in Ohio, was arrested for assault after she threw a pair of special cut fillets, steaks, at a store employee. She apparently asked for thinly sliced fillets for her husband on a diet. Then the deli worker made a derogatory comment about her husband's weight after she placed the order. Miss Lyman then removed the cellophane wrap from the steaks and threw them at the, wor at the worker, striking her in the eye and the shoulder. Miss Lyman has later, was later released from jail. She declined medical treatment for the meat attack. Medical treatment? <laughs> like, yeah, how much did you have to like impale someone with a fillet? Who knows? Should have hurt. <laughs> uh, the things people do. It always surprises me. <laughs> That's all for our weird national news. But stay tuned because when we come back, we have Jacob and Susanna with their new segment, This or That. Hi, I'm Susanna Shepard. And I'm Jacob Clore. And, and welcome, welcome to, to This, this or, or That. that. In this new segment, we will be arguing different viewpoints with a new topic each week, and these might be a little more out of the ordinary than you might expect. This week's topic is desserts. First off, we have ice cream versus gelato. I'm going to be fighting for ice cream. And I'm fighting gelato. So why is gelato superior to you? There are so many reasons. First of all, it's fancy. Second of all, it's from Italy. Third of all, it's less fat. Um, Let's see here. Pressure's Where else on. can I go? Why am I just listing them off? Why don't you say a few? Well, I think ice cream is a whole lot cheaper. I mean, when you go to Turner and you buy like a two dollar or three dollar thing of gelato, it's like this. Let tiny me just say cup. they don't even have ice cream in Turner. All they have is gelato. Well, they're just a little too elitist for me. Well, maybe you're just not fancy. <laughs> I don't know, but they're also like you don't have like chain gelato places. It's really like unaccessible. I mean, come on, there's like Cold Stone, Baskin Robbins other ice cream places, in like your local mom and pop ice cream places, it's just a 
whole lot more accessible. But we don't have those on campus. We have gelato. No. There's have a you, have you ever that. heard of Dietz? Okay, point Boom. proven. Boom. Point proven. Awesome. Yeah. I, I love to, ice cream. I don't go to Dietz enough, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> All right, on to our next topic, since he defeated me on the ice cream one with that Dietz comment, and I had no rebuttal. Yeah. We'll go to pie versus cheesecake. I'm fighting for cheesecake because cheesecake is, it's personally my favorite dessert, so you can't beat it. But pie is the go-to all-American dessert. Think of all the different holidays. You could have a pie at Christmas, pumpkin pie at Thanksgiving, pie, Fourth of, Fourth of July, chocolate pie. There's all kinds of different pies. You can't go wrong with pie. I mean, have you ever seen how messy pie, like chocolate pie, for instance, it's like a bunch of like chocolate pudding and like a pie crust. It's so messy. It's so amazing. And there's movies and songs named after pie. American I mean, Pie, that one time at Ben. It didn't camp. really have too much to do with pie. It was still named after pie because that's how awesome pie is. Oh, come on. I mean, it's not as good as cheesecake. I mean, cheesecake, you can like pick it up with a hand like a pizza slice and just eat it. What? It's... I've never done that. Yeah. No. Have you ever really, like. I've never seen anybody have you ever had, do like, that. Have you ever had like store-bought cheesecake from like Food Lion? You can just pick up the slices and and eat it with your hands. It's so easy. I don't think people are giving me weird easy. looks, but it's it's easy. But also, technically, cheesecake is a form of pie because it's a filling with a crust. Can you, uh, okay. Point fine. proven. Darn it. Pie wins. Pie wins. Crap. And finally, we have cake versus brownies. I'm I'm a cake guy. Come on, you have to go with the whole happy birthday thing. It's like you think of birthdays, you think of cake. That is true, but brownies aren't as messy, going back on your messy point with the cheesecake, brownies actually aren't that messy and people actually eat them with their hands. But like, you know how brownies you have like the pan and you have like the outer edge that's just so hard? Yeah, that's my favorite part. I, I mean, love the, the crunchy part. The crunchy parts, like you, when you have a dessert, you want to have like a smooth, like a, a chewy kind of texture. You don't want to have to like bite into it and go like, ow, I just bent into the edge of a brownie. Brownies are chewy that's the best part about brownies they're ooey gooey texture yeah. they're like cake you just bite into you have to use a fork and you have to make sure but you get so enough soft you have and to fluffy. have Come but on. no but you have to make sure you have the perfect ratio of ice icing versus cake that's, that's so the, complicated that's the best part like you have icing on cake it's just so good but you have nuts and brownies a cake would taste weird with nuts but some people hate nuts nuts and brownies are kind of I don't know I just don't like it I like nuts with brownies as long as you're not allergic to the nuts see I mean, cake is a perfect like alternative if People you are allergic to People could be allergic to, to something in cake. I don't know. I mean, there has to be something. I mean, there's like both, like brownies and cake both have eggs, so you can't like argue that point. I mean, I'm not arguing boom, that point. cake is better. I love cake. Whatever I mean, you like, say. Come on, you can't go happy birthday to you and have a, a pan of brownies. That People, just does not work. People have cookie cakes. I mean, you can have a that's cookies. Cake. We're not arguing cookies versus like, Cake. You could still have a brownie cake. You could put icing on a brownie and just say happy birthday. My my neighbor puts icing on brownies. I mean, you could have a brownie cake. It's just it comes down to the texture. I mean, it's not like the American go-to to like birthday cake. Off. It's like it's it's, it's, it's exactly it's birthday. Why cake. are we arguing about what to eat on a birthday? We're just arguing I, about the generic <laughs> cake versus brownie, not what's better for a birthday. I'm arguing because it's my supporting point. You don't have brownies on a birthday. I might have brownies on a birthday. Whatever. I mean. Whatever, I Cupcakes, still beat you cakes. with cheesecake, and I beat you. We're calling cool. this a draw, because this is going to just keep going on. <laughs> Tell else? us what you think in the comment section, please. If you're watching it on YouTube, if you're watching it on campus, you can email us, because I'm sure we have an email, and we'll talk about your responses We'll create like, this next week. cool forum for you guys. Yeah, we'll make a website. Well, that's all we have for this pilot episode of This or That. Stay tuned, because when we have come back, we have Corey and Olivia with Girls vs. Food. Hi, welcome back to Weekly What's Up. I'm Corey Burvis. And I'm Olivia Bracia. And this is Girls vs. Food. Food. Today we're going to do things a little bit differently. Um, I know BuzzFeed's one of the major sites we all love to get addicted to. And one article I came across recently involved an artist taking a 12-course meal, uh, turning it into a jelly, and canning it. So we're going to take a new spin on that. We don't have the same technology as him. And we're going to make three different meal combos. Eat, it it might, all eat them all. <laughs> it might be gross, but we'll see how it works together. So our first one is like kind of like going along the same theme with like three course meals. We've got like our appetizers, we've got hummus and pita bread. The main course, a sandwich that I've eaten off of earlier <laughs> today. It's chicken sandwich. 
And then I uh, pudding with gummy worms and Oreos, and then I guess Chick-fil-A sauce is a topic because you can't have Chick-fil-A without Chick-fil-A sauce. Exactly. Yeah. And it's delicious. I'm sure it goes with pudding. So I'm sure this will all go really well together. Mm. <laughs> do, we want, do, we want do you want the pita in? Why not? Let's go with the pita. Might as well, right? Yeah. Okay, so we've got our hummus. And then I'll just like break off. I think we put more hummus in. Oh yeah. Let's do that while I'm breaking yeah, yeah, It's kind of like we're babies again. Yeah, we're turning this basically into baby food. A whole meal. Yeah, that's so gross. Okay, we'll get that stirred. Do you want the pickles? You yes. have to put them in. Oh, I was putting in some chicken. Chunks of, oh, sorry. That's where my hands are clean. Right. Ooh, that's good. You can see, then, already, it's looking quite interesting. Chunky. <laughs> Scoop it in. Alright. Uh, put that all in. Glad. Chick fil A sauce as well. <laughs> Forgot about the chick fil A. Alright, hold up. Oh my god, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> oh my god. Good enough. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so I don't know which one of us wants to try this first. No, we'll do it together. Oh my god. It's got the most I don't disgusting know. color. You can see this well. That looks like someone just, I'm not even going to say it. I don't know what end that looks like. It's really coming. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Good enough for me. Okay. Get a chunk oh god, that's a big one. Alright, I cannot eat those. It smells very strongly of Chick-fil-A sauce. Cheers. Oh, cheers. I don't know what this is. Oh, I'm glad. It's disgusting. Oh, it smells like Maybe in the future, don't use spicy chicken. Mm hmm. I think that's why it's gross. <laughs> it's also like. Oh my god. Do not. It's going in the trash. Okay. Next. <laughs> I'll give that a one star out of ten, but that's being generous. I don't think it deserves any stars. I don't think. Yeah. Yeah. What's the next one? Um, I think we're doing. Well, we've heard from a couple of people that this is like this one. It's a good thing to have. At a certain hour of the night. <laughs> After a night of uh, fun. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. So we've got Not that. No, no, no. Oh, oh this. you're right. You're right. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Sprite. So far, I can do it. Uh-huh. This is where it gets gross. Um, cottage cheese. I don't even like this plain, so... Um, I'm already put it in the spray. <laughs> Dizzy. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, that's gross. And then <laughs> we can kind of sweep up the fryer. Yeah, potato chips. Intended to be mixed together like this, but they but didn't eat it at the same. They ate it at like, the oh same time. The same. Oh my god. I. That's. So everything's just kind of turning into bush. Soggy potato chips and cottage cheese and spray. Here it goes. Oh my god. Right. Oh, that was it. I cannot eat that. Okay. Ready. <laughs> It actually could have. <laughs> yeah. I, this was surprisingly not as no, bad as the other one. It's way more doable than that. Yeah. It's like, you don't really taste the cheese that much, so it's just like, 
Yeah, kind of soggy potato chips with Sprite. And you kind of taste them separately. Yeah. You don't taste them at the same time. That's nice. Oh, good. Not about nice, but... It's pretty good. Well, compared to what I <laughs> thought it would be... <laughs> okay. Okay, now we our last one. We're hoping is the best. I think it could be the best one. It's going to be a combination of different breakfast foods. So first, we have some coffee. Just black. Even a classic. And then some fruit, some cantaloupe. This is breakfast theme. Yeah. Already the breakfast theme. Okay. <laughs> and then our jelly donut. We could do that, or we could break it up. There we go. Let's get some of that jelly in there. <laughs> Good stuff. And then chucks of the donut, I guess. <laughs> He's just gonna be so strong. Oh, yeah. yeah. Alright, we're gonna try this. Did you get some of that cantaloupe in there? Oh, I guess I should do that. There we go. Okay, here we go. It's not that bad though. I don't think it's that bad. It just tastes like soggy. It tastes like Coffee soggy bread. donut <laughs> with a hint of cantaloupe. <laughs> That was terrible. That was, that was the worst one for me, honestly. Really? Yeah. Worse than this? <laughs> <laughs> Visually, that's disgusting. So yeah. gross. Okay. So, none, none of them are really particularly good. I don't know what that guy was thinking with the buzz feed. I don't know. I, I'm not sure I hope no one what function that. that ever serves, but yeah. now we know. At least we tried it. Yeah. And uh, that's all we have time for on this episode of Girls vs. Food. Until next time, bon appétit. Welcome back to the weekly What's Up. I'm Rhiannon. And I'm Macy. And, and these are You Might Be a College Student If World Facts. We thought we would start off the new semester with things everyone here can compare to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, comparisons. Uh, if you can. <laughs> hey, uh, if you consider ramen noodles and mac and cheese a balanced meal, you're doing college right. I think that's a very good statement. Um, I honestly ate so much ramen last semester, my, my doctor won't let me eat it anymore. <laughs> well, with these snow days, I literally went through a 12-pack of ramen in I, three days. Is that bad? Honestly, it's salt and it's plastic. It's so bad for you. You take your salt, you get some plastic, you've got ramen. If you put a bag of salt and, like, plastic wrap, put it in the microwave, let it all melt together. Oh, that's my goodness. That's delicious. And you take some seasoning that's probably been, I don't know. Processed a <laughs> hundred times. Processed hundred times. That's, and on there you got it. There's college food. Mac and cheese you can only get if it's triple cheese. Oh, absolutely. I don't want regular. Like I think I like lost the taste for mac and cheese, but it's no, there's like, only one good mac and cheese. It's or linguini, linguini yeah, mac and cheese. Good. That's very good. So if your trash is overflowing and your bank account isn't. Okay, wait. That is beyond true because. That is so true. And I hate taking the trash out. First of all, let's start there. Another snow day thing. We had six <laughs> bags of trash. Six. I had to make three trips. What, what do you have that you're throwing away? Are you throwing away ramen? <laughs> she has six bags of ramen. Like, okay. It's gone. I mean, the trash is gone. You're that person. But my you know, bank account. Have you ever gone up to the dumpster and, like, it's completely packed full and you just can't get your trash bag through? I know. I kind of feel bad. You're that I person. I know. And my bank account sucks right now. Yeah, we can't even talk about that. I'm pretty much in the overdrawn negative over here. I almost overdrew the other day. What happens? They charge you, like, twice as much? Well, this is my bad story. I went to go get gas and... I went to the counter to get some money out, and he, in front of everyone, said, Yeah, ma'am, you have no money in your bank account. In front of everyone in 7-Eleven. It was so that embarrassing. Is embarrassing. You're like, wait, this isn't my card, and you just run out. No, I basically did. I was just like, hey, I'm going to go get another one, and I left. Mm -hmm. It was gone. If you are personally keeping the local pizza place from bankruptcy. Amen to that. I like almost honestly almost ordered a Papa John's when we here. I actually almost ordered a Papa John's here, here, like the studio, like literally two minutes ago before we started filming. <laughs> I like had it on my phone. It's thirteen forty-two because I was gonna order a Pepsi with it. So, but Firehouse 
is like two for ten on weekends. I know, like honestly don't know if I like Firehouse. Well, Sorry if you're watching this. And I'm not gonna I don't know. Bad. Pizza is just God's gift to Earth. It doesn't matter where it comes from, unless it's you know DiGiorno. There's like almost like delivery. No, it's, it's not it's like not. delivery. It's not. It's ever. really not. So if you wake up ten minutes before class, you're definitely in college. Okay, this is true. Because you know I snooze everything. Everything. And then it's like times. I'm shocked when I wake up and class is starting, and I'm like. You know, why, why am I not ready? Why am I not there? And then I like, and look it's at like the eight alarm. it's completely your fault, though. Yeah. I agree. Especially having my own house this year, I never wake up on time. Ever. Never. Well, you know, that's just, you know, for people like me who are always late to begin with, that's, exactly. that's not very helpful. <laughs> if your backpack is giving you scoliosis. Okay, yeah, yeah. My backpack's like 20 pounds. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what's in there. I like sometimes I think it's gonna be lighter if I take out like one notebook. But it's not. Like it's it never make any, any lighter. Difference. In freshman year, I didn't have to bring anything to class. Now I'm bringing textbooks to class like every day. It's yeah, especially like when that. you're you know those media classes. Yeah. Like have those big books you have to take everywhere. Mm -hmm. If you wear the same jeans 13 days in a row without washing them. I've worn the jeans I'm wearing right now twice. In a I'm row. guilty of that. A lot. Actually. 13 days, really? You're like, <laughs> pretty close. I'm not even kidding. You know, the start of February, you're like, hmm, I, maybe I should wash these now. But I don't have a laundry like room in my house, so I have to carry it across the street, and that is hard work, especially since I wait a month or so to do laundry. I couldn't do that. I do like laundry like early in the morning because, you know, with roommates, everyone needs to use the washer, everyone mm -hmm. needs to use the dryer, yeah. so, I mean, it's hard to do laundry, especially when you don't have really a time, and you have to wait around for it because someone's going to take like out three and throw hour around. It's like a three-hour yeah. process to do a load of laundry. You have to do it when you're doing homework. Exactly. If your social life consists of a date with the library. Oh, my gosh, this is me right here. Right here. Like, honestly, my mom just asked me if I was getting married to the library. Uh -huh. Like, all I do is study. I have, like, a dinner and a movie with the library. I bring food with me. While I'm eating food, I watch a little TV, and then I do homework. It's whining so and dining exactly. right there. Basically, the library is my boyfriend. I mean, you, you can go home with it and then, you know, leave it there. I've actually slept with the library before. Uh, Rhiannon. I know. I think we need to discuss this further after the show. I know. <laughs> if your idea of doing your hair is putting on a baseball cap. Okay, honestly, when I had hair, you know, <laughs> this is something I did all the time. Mm -hmm. But now, honestly, I can't pull off a baseball cap. No. It, like, looks awkward with Me my haircut, either. like a bowl cut. I really can't. Plus, oh, I you like, can wear, you can look cute. You I, know, put a little high ponytail Macy, in. Macy, my forehead is, like, a six head. So if I put on a baseball cap, it just is not attractive at all. But I, I doubt that. I do put my hair in messy buns very often. But the thing about the messy bun is I feel like people perfect their messy bun yes. for, like, 20 minutes. It has to be, like, perfect messy. Perfect. Mm -hmm. If you live in an area that is smaller than most mobile homes. Okay. I can see that. My room's kind of small, but... They fit as many rooms as they can within these complexes that your room is pretty much half the size as the bathroom. Yeah, no, no that's true. And or plus your you're, bed. like, sharing with, like, yeah. four other people. And your bed is the only thing that can fit in there. Honestly, my kitchen is probably smaller than my bathroom. That's not good. I don't know what's wrong with our kitchen, but, like, if you want to put... You can probably put, like, two people in the kitchen mm -hmm. at one time. Well, one of our bathrooms is literally the size of, like, a five-by-five five space. Like, you can stand there yeah. and turn around, and you're, like, hitting the wall. Like, it's so small. If you average less than five hours sleep at night, okay, that's me. No, yeah, that's you. I was going to say, mm -hmm. you don't sleep a lot. I don't sleep very much. I go to bed very late. I wake up very late. But I still only get about six hours of sleep. And on the weekends, it's way less than that. And this is especially true if you live in an apartment because mm -hmm. I live in a village. And you got the people above me, not going to name names, Kevin. And the people <laughs> below me, not going to name names, Ross. But they are so loud. I mean, I'm pretty sure you don't hear from them all day, and then all of a sudden at 11 at night, they're like, okay, it's time to rage mm -hmm. every single night. I hear you on that one. And it's like they do, like, what? Do you have what boys live around you? Yes. Do you feel like they just, like, lift weights or something every night? They, just have they to basically throw everything. their weights on the ground. Yes. I hear you on that one. When you have one pair of underwear left, it's probably time to do some laundry. Yeah. Isn't that a wake-up call? You, that like, is go a wake-up call. You're like, oh, oh gosh. gosh. And then you're, like, left with the uncute ones that you really don't wear because my mom tells me you have to wear, like, cute, pretty underwear because, you know, for some reason you're in a situation you have to take your pants off, like, you're on fire. You know, you don't want people seeing, like, ugly underwear. And, like, Only that when stresses you're on fire. me out. Like, yeah, keep them on otherwise, ladies. <laughs> keep them on. Well, I can actually compare myself to every single one of these, and that's very sad. Well, that's all the scary, relatable college facts we have for today. Tune in next time when we compare the things we wish we would have known before college. I'm Macy. And I'm Rhiannon. See you guys next time. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, but ice cream... Welcome back.
sorry, my people. <laughs> hey, you dude, I'm doing it perfectly. She <laughs> welcome back to the. <laughs> I just leave. Okay, don't even count down. Oh, I, got I got this. Like, I just, my abs hurt, my back hurt, just falling apart, dying. I lost my contacts. <laughs> yeah. Welcome. <laughs> no. I gotta leave. I can't. I can't. What is the matter? <laughs> I can't film. Do you want I'm... me to start it and you? Welcome back to the weekly What's Up. I'm Rhiannon. And I'm your girl Macy, and these are, and, these, and I'm your girl Macy. And I laugh, just roll with it. Guys, what's wrong with me? Why is the word weekly so funny? We got uh, this. We I'm got annoyed at myself. Stuff.